Now, our desktop flow is ready for the RPA challenge with dynamic UI elements. And after that, we have created a desktop flow for web form filling with these dynamic UI elements. And after that, we have seen how to read Excel data and populate it onto the web page by creating Excel automation. And also, we have seen how to create a subflows for the Excel automation as well as for the web automation. And also, we have applied the error handling in all the actions which are available in Excel as well as the web automations. Now, as a final run, let's click on the run to see the output. It is working as expected or not for the RPA challenge. Let's click on run. Flow execution started. As a first step, it is trying to read the data from the Excel by using Excel automation. After successfully reading the data from the Excel, it is trying to launch browser by using launch new Chrome. And then the number of records which are available in the Excel based on that, it will go through the loop of the Excel data and then it will populate the data in the web forms. There, if you see, by using populate text field on web page, it is trying to fill the data as first name, last name, company name, role in company, address, email ID, and phone number. It will repeat the same thing for the number of records available in the Excel data. Fantastic. Our RPA challenge is completed successfully with dynamic UA elements for web form filling. And also we have seen how to read Excel data and populate the data into the particular web page. And also we have seen how to create subflow and also how to handle the exceptions as part of this RPA challenge.